The economic shockwaves of rising inflation are beginning to crash against household budgets. Here at Skegness Food Bank, they hand out an average of 70 parcels a week, a number that's constantly growing. It has gently gone up, 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 up. But now, obviously, COVID, it's sort of shot up. And we've had lots of families that have fallen into the, you know, where they're having to come to food banks. Many of those here today didn't want to go on camera, but they did talk about rising food and energy costs, struggles with the benefit system, and even a sense of shame. Lisa did speak. She was homeless until a few months ago and says even now her benefits don't cover her bills and debt repayments. I pay my rent and things I need in general. Um, and then by the time I've done all that, I've not even, I've got like about 10 quid, not even that to last me in the month. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. This district ranks amongst the 10% most deprived in England, but it's not just here that food bank use is going up. We've spoken to those in Scunthorpe, Grantham, Lincoln and East Yorkshire, and they're all saying the same thing. As bills rise, so does the demand for help. Today, the Prime Minister defended the government's actions. What we are focusing on is tackling the cost of living, uh, helping people, helping people uh, through the spike in fuel prices, the 9.1 billion uh, that the Chancellor has set out. I think we're on the brink of the crisis at the minute. We are just ticking over and just about making sure that everyone is, is helped out with everything that's looming ahead of us. I believe that we are going to be struggling quite a lot soon. It's being called a cost of living crisis and it's turning into the perfect storm for households and those there to help them. Sharon Edwards, BBC Look North, Skegness.